Yo guys, it's TNN and today we're going to have a look at this home robot vacuum cleaner from a company called Lafant. Uh, we've definitely had a look at their uh, products before, so do check them out. Uh, this is the brand logo here. So we have reviewed many of their home robot vacuum cleaners before, uh, and they're really, really awesome products, so do check them out. So here we have it here. This is the model M213 with a battery capacity over here, which is 1,800 milliamp hour. With the black color here, uh, gross weight of it is 3.2 kilos and we've also got the package size here as well which is just this box size here. Uh, Lafant make really really good robot vacuum cleaners. I, like I said I've had plenty of them before and they're probably one of the best ones as well that they actually really out there to be fair. Uh, but there are some really really good um, vacuum cleaners made by this brand. So we're just going to open the seal up over here. So we do have a little tab here. Now I would normally get my knife and just cut into this but I can't seem to find my knife anywhere. So I'm going to try and peel it open in like a more satisfying way really. It'll pull that down like so. I really love how this is just a normal cardboard box packaging. It's a lot more eco-friendly. It looks a lot more nicer as well in my opinion. So we do have just cardboard protecting the top of it. We've got the instruction manual for the robot vacuum cleaner M2. It's really nice. So we'll have a quick little flip through this, see if there's not any specifications or anything on here. Uh, again, the paper on this as well is quite thin, feels quite eco-friendly, which is really nice. A few information of it, what comes in the package, we have the robot, we have the dustbin, we've got the docking station and power adapter, we've got the mopping cloth and mop, uh, mop cloth bracket, so this is a mop version as well, we've got side brushes, we've got the high efficiency filter and instruction manual and disposable mopping cloth, which is what we got, which is awesome. Uh, we've got a few things over here, we've got the start uh, on the description of the actual product, we've got the start stop, start pause button. Uh, infrared anti-collision sensors, top cover. Now, amazing thing about this one is it's got the uh, special ability to check whether it's coming to the end of a staircase so it doesn't fall off. So if you're doing um, the hoovering or vacuum cleaning upstairs uh, or on the stairs or in your hallway, uh, it will know when it's coming to the edge of a staircase and it's going to fall off and it will read that it's gone the edge and it will come back. So it's got a anti-drop sensor, which is this over here, the top over here, which is an amazing feature that is super, super cool. Uh, and I am going to test that out as well. Uh, we do have a universal wheel, side brushes. It's got two side brushes, which is awesome. They both sweep into the suction port, which is over here. And then we've got two rear driving wheels. And of course, the dustbin, which is located at the top. A few things over here about the dustbin, how to use it, how to clean it, and also about the charging as well. So it's really, really nice. Uh, of course, you can download the app and you can install the Lefant app and you can control the um, you can control the actual robot vacuum cleaner through the app as well and you can pair it through the app as well. So that's cool and we'll be doing that as well. Uh, you can also do a program cleaning pattern. So the floor, uh, you can pattern for where you want it to clean the floor like a zigzag pattern and stuff like that, which is awesome. And then if you double click on the power button, it'll go back to its charging dock. Really, really cool features. So we'll just skip through this uh, manual really. There's not really much else to it. Uh, you do have warranty, so you can sign up to that as well. Uh, we've got information over here. So we've got product specifications. Here it is. If you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and pause the video now. So let's go straight into the actual product. So we have the mop here as well. So this is like mop that's already coated with this liquid so you've got five pieces of them uh, it's already coated with the cleaning material on there which is really cool uh, when you run out of these you can just order more on Amazon on the Lafant website uh, this is actually a very nice small compact vacuum cleaner actually a lot of them are quite big whereas Lafant went for more of a small and compact design on this one here let's move that to the side have a look at this so we've got like a brushed finish on the top over here which is actually quite nice we do have a welcome leaflet over here on how to use, remove and install everything. Lovely. Uh, it does support 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi if you want to connect to it. I love this design here with the matte and then the gloss around the middle. I think it looks really nice. We do have a little lip over here so that you can lift this up here and you can get your bin out. Very simple. We've got the filter over there. Very nice. Let's have a look at the filter. 
So it looks like it's just a tab here probably. Yep, just like that. Filter comes out and you can change the filter like so. Really nice, really easy to use actually. Pretty sweet. And then that simply just slots back in again. So uh, it says no water, so do remember not to put any water on this. And to clean the filter, you just got to brush it off with a brush. Do not wash it. Just slide that on. And then we've got uh, and manual power on, power off button here as well, which is really nice. Uh, some vacuum cleaners constantly stay on, which is really annoying. So this is good that it has a manual power on, power off. Have you got some grills over here, which I assume are probably the speaker grill and also for releasing air. We do have some lovely pullables here. Always satisfying doing that. Love it. So here we have the anti drop sensor. We got the universal spinning wheels. We got the two magnets for charging dock. We've got the left and right uh, sweepers, which we have just here, which just clip on really, like so. And we've got two spare ones as well, so we come with two for the actual uh, vacuum cleaner, and then we come with two spare ones in the box, which is absolutely amazing. And then we've got the suspension motorised wheels, and some more drop sensors here. So that the vacuum cleaner don't drop off and fall off on off a staircase and onto the floor. So that's really it. This is a very nice design. We've got the rest of the bumper sensors here. Uh, it doesn't have a spring-loaded bumper, but it does have a rubber coating all around here for collision, just to protect it. I've noticed that some vacuum cleaners do have spring-loaded bumpers, whereas this one doesn't. But that's probably to keep the design very small and compact as well. Let me put this to the side. Actually, we'll see how we can flip the um, how we can fit the mopping edition on this as well. So this is the mopping edition. Let's take this out of this bag. You see, here it's got two hole clips here. Right now, it's just got a normal mop on there, just a normal cloth. Uh, these ones are the liquid ones that you can attach on for it to actually mop the floor. And it just simply slots in like so. Easy as really, and then you can just unclip it as well when you don't want it. Or just slide it back in, and it slots in. Nice, that's very cool, very useful feature. And what else do we have is of course the charging dock. Now there's nothing much really interesting with the charging dock. They are quite uh, generic to other Lefant charging docks. I've noticed that they do look pretty much the exact same as other Lefant charging docks. Going to take it out anyway. So we've got the cleaning brush and the blade here for taking off anything uh, hairs or anything that are on the um, sweepers or stuck into the vacuum cleaner on the wheels. And then we've got the two magnets which are spring loaded here for the uh, robot vacuum cleaner to sit on and it will start charging. And that's pretty much it really. And we've got the AC input here which is from that plug over here, uh, which is a UK free pin. And we've got an LED indicator on here as well. So yeah, pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to charge it up, connect it to my phone, and we'll see how it performs. So here we have the um, robot vacuum cleaner, the Lafant M213, charging right now. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go through the app. So here we have the app. It was super, super easy to connect. Literally, you just download the Lafant Life app, and it's really easy. It just goes through how to set it up. Uh, in the app, we can have a look at what the status is right now. So we've got 16% battery, uh, and it'll tell you total cleaning time, total cleaning area, and it's currently showing what its status is, which is charging. Uh, if you click on edit, you can go for all things. You can also connect it up with Google uh, Google Assistant and also Alexa as well, so you can turn it on and off through that way, uh, which is awesome. And then you can check your network and all your other stuff on here as well, device information, every, every other little information through here. So through the app, we've got the power on, power off button, we've got standby, uh, auto and charging base, which will send it back to a charging base. Uh, the app also maps out the floor as well as it starts to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. So let's go switch on. And hopefully if it just needs to charge up, maybe. There you go. 
I switch off and put it on auto and it is starting to move and hopefully it should come out and start sweeping and cleaning as well there you go it's just powering up I wouldn't say it's really loud uh, it is uh, more on the muffled sound I've heard a lot louder uh, robot vacuum cleaners uh, this one isn't too bad you can see here that it is starting to map the floor now as well So the only mode that I seem to do is auto mode, doesn't look like I can adjust into manual mode where I can control it by my hand. It looks like I can only do auto mode or go into standby, which is just sat there in the auto mode. Now it's gone over there somewhere and it should be coming back soon. So it currently works in this zigzag pattern, which is quite useful. It's going back to charging base there. And then once you're done with it, and once you once it's mapped everything you can see here it is mapping the zigzag pattern that it is doing uh, you can go ahead and click charging base on here and it looks like it's rubbing i can't see what it's doing but i can hear it where it is there it is it's come back if i click on charging base it will then go look for its charging base i'll just turn the camera around here it's now looking for its charging base As you can see here, it's found it. It will go back on charge. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and put it on uh, my hallway. And we're going to see what the anti-drop uh, system looks like. And there you go, it's on charge. Simple as that. When it charges, the light on top blinks. Uh, now you can obviously control it without using the app. You can just press the button on top for start pause uh, double click and uh, triple click to connect it to the app to put it on connection mode uh, but i prefer using the app it is a lot easier and it is very simple to download as well uh, that's really it with the app it's really simple really easy to use uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh lefant uh, robot vacuum cleaner to the hallway and we're going to see if it falls down some stairs or not so we are now in my hallway and right there you see is a staircase and it is a drop and it's quite the drop as well reaches up just below my calf uh, we're going to see how it reacts and how it works in this situation so i'm going to start it up it takes a bit of time for it to start up when you press the auto button i did notice that hopefully it goes straight in that direction and it picks up that there is a staircase there and it just doesn't drop right there look at that now I stop to think, and it's turned around. That is amazing. Now let's see if it goes back around that way. So it's going to go to the end here, turn back around, go forward a little bit, turn back around, and it's going straight towards the staircase again. And it's picked it up. It remembered it from last time that that is the end of the staircase. Look at that. Now it's just going to continue hoovering in a zigzag pattern. That is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Wow. That worked really, really well. It picked it up not only once, but it remembered it. And it remembered where it was on the second time. And it remembered that there was a staircase there. That is really, really cool. So that is it with the review on the Lefant. Um, it's pretty much it, really. Uh, really simple, really easy to use, which I love about it. Uh, most of these robot vacuum cleaners can get pretty complicated and i love that lefan keep it simple and got straight to the point very easy to use it works really well um and i think the anti-drop sensors anti-collision sensors i think they are one of the best that i've probably seen in a robot vacuum cleaner so far these are really really good ones it picked up that staircase really well and not only did it pick it up it remembered it as well so that's really impressive i like that it is quite small and compact you can see here with my hand size uh, most robot vacuum cleaners are normally around this sort of edge so that this much space going all the way around addition onto it uh, so this is a nice good compact size uh, on the noise level it's not the quietest one i've heard um, but it is around medium it's not the loudest one i've heard either and suction level i think it actually does a pretty decent job we're going to go ahead and open up the bin over here uh, we didn't actually use much of it 
and we can see that it's already picked up some dust and dirt and grime already and that's not even using the vacuum cleaner for a huge amount of time uh, so I think it's pretty good with suction again I don't think it's the best on the suction part uh, I think it's around middle is quite average uh, a few crumbs and some strings and rubbish and litter on the floor it could easily pick up but any smaller smaller fine dust in carpets and things like that I don't think it would do an amazing job at picking it up uh, but pet hair uh, strings small crumbs I reckon it does a really good job on that um, other than that I think it's a really really good product really easy to use really good build quality uh, of course, LeFan always make really, really good build quality on all of their products, which is really amazing. And the anti-collision, anti-drop feature, I think, is very, very good. And for that, I'm going to give it an overall score of 8 out of 10. I think it's a very, very good, and I think you should consider buying this one uh, if you are looking for a small, compact robot vacuum cleaner. So if you're interested in this, link to buy will be down below in the description. If I have any coupons as well, I will also link that down below in the description. Uh, but other than that, I'd just like to say thanks for watching this video and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll also link down other Lefant uh, videos that I have made. Thank you.